This video is going to help you build your very own Ratbit condo. The best part is they're easy to make so you don't need to be an expert to do it. Rabbit organizations recommend that your rabbit's home provides enough room for him to hop at least three times and to be able to fully stand on his hind legs. It's also a good idea to provide multiple levels to promote strong mus muscle development. I've yet to find a store-bought cage that meets these requirements, not to mention how expensive they are. Creating your own rabbit home will not only make your rabbit happy, but it'll also save you a ton of money. Feel free to get creative as well. As you can see in our photos, we already had an X-Pen, so after a few modifications, we were able to convert it into a multi-level rabbit condo as well. The other great thing about these condos is that you can build them to any size you like. We built ours as large as we could to fit into the room they were going in. We're going to use storage cubes to build our rabbit condos. You can find these at Walmart where a pack of 13 is $19.99. The rest of your supplies you can find at a building supply store such as Lowe's. Zip ties are another essential. These are going to be what holds your storage cubes together and a pack of a thousand is around ten dollars. And you'll really want wire cutters because there's going to be a lot of zip ties for you to be cutting. These again are only about three to five dollars at a building supply store. Other important supplies you're going to need are wood for the floors and the sides, necessary screws, a drill, um, tile or carpet to line your cage, necessary hinges if you're planning on putting in ramps, a hot glue gun that's going to secure your tile or carpet down so your rabbit can't dig it up, and then of course a litter box, food dishes, hay racks, toys, any other furnishings that you would like to put into your cage. The first step is going to be securing each storage cube together using the cable ties. Now I used a cable tie on every other grid just to make sure that it was nice and secure. You'll notice that your storage cube set came with these corner snap-on knob things. Throw those out. You don't want to use them because if you do, you're going to have too much of a gap in between. And your rabbit's pretty strong that they could probably break that apart easily. You want to make sure you have a secure home for your rabbit. Next, you're going to just go along and cut all the extras off of the cable ties. Leave a little bit just so if it loosens up, you're able to tighten it later on. Just for extra security on the corners, this is how I assembled my cable ties. And once you've got all your cable ties in place, you can really see how sturdy your new cage has become. While I was busy with the cable ties, my husband was cutting down the wood. Now at most building supply stores, they will cut the wood for you. We had them cut it just a little larger to make sure we could fine tune anything afterwards. You want to make sure that it's going to fit inside the perimeter of the rabbit cage. After the wood was cut, it was time to lay down the tile. I did use a little hot glue on the corners just to make sure that my rabbits couldn't dig up the tile. We used natural wood to frame all of our floors. We did this because our rabbits love to kick and toss stuff and this way it doesn't get all over your floor. At this point, you're going to want to secure the frame to the base of the condo. You can do this by drilling a large hole and then putting a screw in there to fasten everything in place. We did use clamps at this point as well to hold the tile in place because we noticed it's slipping. And once that's all done, you're going to have a really nice looking base to your rabbit cage. When we put the perimeter around, we noticed that it wasn't really staying close to the cage. So what we did was we drilled holes right through the wood and then secured everything with zip ties and that really helped to keep everything in place. It also means that your rabbit won't be able to try and squish their head in between there. And now it was time to add the second level so we just followed the same procedures as we had done for the first level. And by the end of the first day, this is what we had come up with. We have both of the bases for the cages, because this is actually a double cage put together, all completed. And what we've done is actually left um, zip ties off of the top two panels. You can kind of see it open there. And that's where the doors are going to be. Um, we fastened them with binder clips, and that's strong enough to hold it closed, but easy enough for us to be able to open it. 
Even though we had the base floors on, we still wanted to put Rocky and Honey in there and let them check out their new cages. As you can see, Honey's full of disapproval, but Rocky seemed pretty excited about them. So on day two, we set to work on building the second levels. As you can see, we did leave a piece of wood off the front. That was room for the ramps to go. And we also used really strong hinges so that the weight of them bouncing up and down wouldn't break them. Now we showed you how we built Rocky and Honey's cages, but we were also working on modifying and rebuilding Ollie and Willow's X-Pen as well. So after three long days, we were finally done all of our grueling work. So here's the final product. This is Rocky and Honey's home. It is two full individual cages right now, but we're hoping that once we have them fully bonded, we can um, just cut a hole in the middle and make it one mega cage. As you can see, Honey has already been busy remodeling her home. And there she is hiding in her little cardboard hidey house. Hi, sweetie. How are you? Oh, you're so cute. You are. They're pretty happy in their new cages. They've got lots of place, space to play now. And so this cage um, is four cubes wide by four cubes tall and two cubes deep. Uh, we actually took out the closet doors and um, this was exactly what fit. We only had about an inch left of space there. And on the second level here is where I keep their food dishes. I actually recommend putting the water dish in the corner like that. It's great because you've got two corners. She can't really move it around. And this is the hay and litter box. So what we ended up doing, because we were noticing that when they would jump out of their litter box, their litter box would move and stuff would go flying. So what we actually did was we bolted down one litter box. Uh, it's secured to the floor of the bunny condo. And then we inserted a second box on top of that. Now this isn't a big deal because they're actually dish pans from the dollar store. So it only costs $2 to do that. The litter box never goes anywhere. And that way I can easily lift out the other one when I need to. The hay rack was actually also from the dollar store as well. It's an under the shelf hay rack, an under the shelf um, utensil holder. And what we did was just cut a piece of wood that um, fit the back of that rack and then just zip tied it all together and you've got your own hay rack for a dollar. Hi sweetie pie! Oh you're just too cute! So this is Rocky's cage and again we've pretty much made them, well we did make them identical. As you can see I had a little more excitement there um, chewing on his wood than Honey has. But that's why it's very important to get natural wood because you want to make sure that you know they're not getting hurt when they're chewing this so you don't want chemicals in your wood. So this is the modified X-Pen. So the thing about X-Pens is not only are they really expensive but our rabbits were always escaping out of them because there was no top on them and you had all this wasted space because as you can see we've actually fit three levels in one whole X pen and then what we did was we just used the um, another layer of cubes to attach to the top to make the second layer for hunt for Willow's cage so they've got two full cages out of that now and then we didn't have to buy all new supplies um, so this only cost us about 50 or 60 dollars to remodel this whole cage and then also we haven't put a whole $140 X-Pen to waste. There's Ollie having a little snack there. They're so cute and happy in their new cages. They've got lots of room in there. It's just great. Feel free to get creative. Condos aren't just for bunnies, you know. Any small animal would appreciate a nice home like this. We built this condo for my hamster, Lucy. Now she's living in luxury. And this one was for my brother-in-law's hedgehog, Hazard. So he's got lots of space to play. Hopefully this video has inspired you to get building. Don't forget to check back regularly at budgetbunny.ca. Your source for awesome do-it-yourself bunny projects and check us out on Twitter and Facebook for the latest Budget Bunny updates.